Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Alright, there's a new scenario that recently made it onto the Steam Workshop that uh, I, I want to take a break from my list and play out myself. And I think you'll figure out why rather quickly. It is called Cult Simulator. Gosh dang it, where is it? There it is, by De Devil Tales. So-called new religious movements are a strange thing. They spread much like an infectious disease does and can be just as detrimental to society at large. Can it, though? Because I feel like an epidemic that, or a pandemic that would actually wipe out millions of people have probably done more harm than any actual cult has, but okay. This scenario is about making your very own cult and bringing the entire world under its control. Yay! This is a very in-depth scenario, so don't skip the tutorial pop-ups unless you already know what you're doing, or you've played the Shadow Plague a lot. Ah, the Shadow Plague. I have played that a lot. Some would say that maybe I wrote the winning strategy for that. It's also still in be beta. If you want to report a bug or suggestion, please leave a comment on the Steam Workshop page. Content that may offend some people. Oh, boy. Feature list. Two main endings. Conquer the Earth or drive everyone into ritual suicides. Lots of combos. Lots of events. Apologies for the constant references to vampires. Yeah, that is one of the big downsides of this, uh... One of the big downsides of Plague Inc.'s Workshop is they don't let you really rework a lot of those things. I wish that they would, right? Like, for example, the board game scenario, the, the official scenario that they released, was so darn good and let you customize a lot of cool stuff. I mean, not like, okay, I didn't create it, you couldn't customize the tabs, but clearly the, the creators of the game were able to customize the different tabs and the mechanics of the game significantly. And it was really good. I wish they would open that up to more people. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, Harvester, Budget Bat, Aquasite, Extreme Files, and Witch Doctor. You know, I never have unlocked Mad Scientist. It's totally worthless. It's why I never did. But I think that's the only thing that I'm missing here. I probably should play this and actually just unlock everything. I never unlocked every single gene. Alright, anyway. Normal difficulty, Temple of Bliss. The dawn of a new age. The powers above have given you many signs before. There was that time you heard the voice of God in your microwave, and that time you believed you were a vampire for six months. Sometimes you still feel like one. But the powers above have given you a new sign, and this time is different. Your instructions are to found a great temple unlike anything ever seen and to spread it to all the corners of the earth. Choose which nation will be the first to hear your most holy words. I choose Central Europe and Romania, because that seems like fun. A vampire rises. How appropriate. The cult leader. The red and black unit on the board is your cult leader. He is vital to the expansion of religion, so this is just the normal vampire thing. It's just saying it's a cult leader. Got it. Oop, points grab. Thank you. Transmission. All right, we have brainwashing, develops uh, psychological techniques to make outsiders think like us, unlocks transmissions and symptoms. All righty, whoa! That unlocked a lot of customization. Kidnapping, find people who hopefully won't be missed and make them a part of our family by force. Oh God, that just creeps me out. It makes me think of, um... oh gosh, was it Resident Evil? No, what was that? Was it Resident Evil 7 or something like that? The, the recent horror game with the creepy diseases and the family, the backwards family that, like, tries to make you their family and eat gross food. I don't know. Anyway, kidnapping. All right, mutation rate and severity. Front organizations. Create legal entities that claim to perform services such as education or counseling, but which are really controlled by us. More recruits in rich countries. Very clever. Evang uh, evangelism. I almost said evangelical, but no. Evangelism. Encourage cultists to preach the faith in public places. Better conversion in the urban regions. Community service. Cultists help their local community by forming litter... Uh, per performing, I think is what you mean. No, forming litter cleanup groups. Okay, never mind. And volunteering at public functions. All right. Decentralization. Loosen the cult hierarchy and preach the importance of individual spirituality. Greatly increases mutation rates. Mass Media 1. Set up daily programs on radio and television channels. Infects a random region and gets more recruits in re rich countries. And finally, syncretism. Expand upon the cult's belief system by borrowing ideas from other religions. Appealing to open-minded people increases the mutation rate. Okay, this is actually really good so far. First off, impeccable grammar and spelling. Mwah, I love you. Thank you. You've made my day. But this is actually a really good amount of customization. It all fits the theme very, very well. It seems pretty well balanced. I like this so far. Off to a good start. First thing I need to double check, though. Central Europe is rich, cold, and wet. Got it. Okay, so rich country stuff would be nice. Uh, front organizations makes a whole lot of sense to me. We'll pick that up. That leads to PR agency. I had a sec- I was a little confused for a second, but public relations agency. Got it. A dedicated public relations organization will spread news of our good deeds throughout the global media. Infectivity goes up, severity goes down, cure is slowed. Alright. Symptoms! Oh, wow! Alright. Alternative medicine, 
Bonus in the rich countries because we're rejecting modern medicine. Very homeopathic. Got it. Uh, we'll grab that. We do have symptostasis, so I can do a lot of this. Yoga. Practice a form of physical exercise that improves both your body and your soul. You know, it's funny. I actually do still see some uh, of my, uh, my um, more religious friends uh, talk about how yoga is actually a pagan art. And uh, <laughs> I'm just like, it's just a freaking exercise regimen. Yes, you can make it spiritual if you want. There are people who do. It's also just an exercise regimen if you don't care about that. It's like celebrating Halloween without actually being a Satanist. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Yoga, we'll pick that up. Uh, astrology, use the movement of the stars and planets to guide your life. Sex magic, love is a powerful thing and its expression is a sacred act. Yikes. Entheog entheogens? Entheogens? What is that? I don't know what that is. Make psychoactive drugs an important part of your cult rituals. The promises of such substances will entice certain people. Usually a bunch of rich, spoiled kids who have no purpose in life. Socialist ideology. Add far-left political beliefs to your doctrine. So we're going to become communists. Got it. Everyone lives on the communists participating in sex magic. I don't know. Messianism. Outright declare yourself a divine or semi-divine being destined to save the souls of humankind. That sounds like me. Fascist ideology. Add far-right political beliefs to your doctrine. Effective in the urban countries. Beat-ins. As part of their initiation, new recruits are violently beaten down by their fellow members. Hazing. Ritual fist fights between common cultists are also encouraged. Agrarianism. Praise the virtues of a quiet farm life. Far away from the sinful big cities, bonus in rural regions. Power struggle. Start a bloody fight inside the cult that will end with the creation of an extra cult leader, an extra vampire. Not recommended if you have fewer than 50 million followers. All right. Sci-fi inspiration. Okay, so we live in some sort of a, uh, a Star Trek universe. Yes, a Star Trek agrarian commune. It's amazing. Uh, add them to your doctrine. All right. Body modification. Require the cultists to get things like tattoos, scars, or piercing as part of the initiation. Uniforms. Every member of the cult has a mandatory uniform they must wear at all times. Sounds like a fascist ideology to me. Mandatory smiles. Oh, good. We happy few. All members of the cult must be happy at all times. Unhappiness will be punished. And finally, for the vampires, we start off with charisma. The cult leader automatically sways others to the faith of his sheer magnetic personality. And empathy. The leader has an astonishing talent for reading the feelings of others, letting him get in their heads almost effortlessly. Legal team. Yeah, when, when empathy doesn't work, hire the lawyers. Enlist a team of lawyers to protect the leader's reputation, lower severity, and helps the leader blend in among the non-believers. So what does that do? Just reduce the odds of us getting caught or something? Cult compounds. The leader can purchase hidden bases for his followers to worship in, generating DNA based on the converted population. They also heal him and help him move around. Oh my god, this is good. Terrorism. Terror attacks are enacted by the cult leader and earn DNA from causing deaths. Later on, they're used to fight the counter-cult special forces. I should have saved up for this. Missions. Provide the cult leader with a divine mission, taking him to a new country. His lifestyle can cause problems if he stays in one place for too long. So this is the bat flight, and this is the devouring of the flesh. This is a really solid scenario so far. That is, first off, a crud ton of, of uh, customization. Like, really impressive. I am... No, no I can't... I can't... I can't undermine this. This is really impressive. I like this a lot. Uh, I have no criticism so far. I mean, I get why you'd be a little annoyed by the uh, amount of vampire iconography in this. I can see that. However, uh, I can I can overlook that easily. Let's go for the terrorism. We're going to go ahead and start devouring the population of Central Europe to get extra DNA. So we're going to start attracting some attention. I do need to get the mission so I'm able to leave a little bit faster. Windowless vans needs transportation. What better than a small fleet of white windowless vans? Also unlock some transmissions. Delegation. Reorganize letting the leader instantly project his presence in any compound. So that's a teleportation. Trained militia. So we do more effective at killing things. Looting. Terror attacks now heal us. Cult compounds. That does sound important, but we'll hold off on that for the moment. Uh, okay, so usually I would go for a very heavy vampire presence instead of going for the disease. But we don't have that. So instead, I'm going to go for... Mm, I kind of want to train it for trained militia so I can get the extra DNA going, make it more effective, right? So let's do that. We are spreading into uh, Italy now. Okay. Guerrilla warfare. Our holy warriors learn how. Uh, sorry, know how to hide in a crowd or secret place, strike quietly and mercilessly, and then return to cover. Light combat boost. All righty. Uh, then we have improvised explosives. Our soldiers will craft enough pipe bombs and Molotov cocktails to oppose armed heathen resistance. Okay, so this is going to be good if we want to start destroying the Templars when they do fire. 
We're going to want to have all of this. Combat becomes extremely important in the early game. Blood Cult Leader tracked in Central Europe. They have found me. So that's going to be a threat at some point. Uh, Templar Industries has revealed us. They should be setting up in a moment. Uh, criminal Investigation begins. Okay. Let's go for the Guerrilla Warfare. Be a little bit more effective at killing things. Still generating that DNA. Templars, where are you? I know you're around somewhere. Uh, healing me will be important, so we'll go ahead and pick that up. Compounds would be nice, but I don't want to do it yet. Okay, hang on. We found some. So let's transfer up into Poland. Why can I not? Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. Hang on. Transport. Poland. Go. Okay. Destroy! Did we destroy? There we go. Now we've destroyed. All right. Devour. Heal up. Uh, we are going to want to lay down some compounds so that I'll be able to teleport rapidly. That will be important, so let's go ahead and pick up compounds. Teleportation, also windowless vans. Let's set up our first compound in Poland. Okay? Good. Now, we will teleport or transfer over toward... I guess we'll work toward Iran, then get to India next. I want to set down a good number of um, compounds here. Huge earthquake in Central Europe. Okay. We are, we are dying a little faster than I'm comfortable with. Let's heal ourselves up. Also set up a new compound in India. Okay, they are trying to cure me now, so I have to do both at the same time. That's going to be a little bit on the tricky side. We can't quite get to Japan, but I can set up in China. So we'll do that. Get some extra DNA. DNA, of course, quite good for me right now. Uh, we're going to want to be able to heal faster. Also, motorcade would be nice. Um... Tithes, DNA goes up, unlocks some transmissions, panic rooms, cult leaders heal faster at compounds. We're going to need that as we continue to take these on, because the Templar are going to get stronger and stronger. Let's go to Japan, and start attacking there. Sex magic mutated on their own, that's just something people started thinking of without me having to prom prompt them. So, that's fun. Templar are going to start targeting my lairs. Good thing is I can teleport and shoot them down. Okay, I'm close to death, but we're not quite dead, we took that away. We now need to teleport down to um, India. Why can't I? I'm supposed to be able to teleport to compounds, right? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Boom. Attack it. Okay, no drone for you. I keep my compound. Perfect. Okay, they're starting to cure me a little bit faster than I'm comfortable with, so we're going to have to take a break and go deal with that. Teleport to Poland. Let's go to the UK. Destroy. Okay, then let's go up toward... Greenland. We need some more stuff, though. I need more combat. We're going to go for Suicide Bombers for the large boost to combat effectiveness. I don't even think I have the time to read everything right now. There's so much customization here. With solid text. Like, it's good. Alright. Let's destroy this here. Good. Get down to Canada. And then the USA. Destroy that. Okay, we're actually having to play this more than normal, like, uh, official way. Let's go ahead and drop off a base in the USA so I can get around f again. Uh, let's try going down to Peru. Can I not, not reach there? All right. So instead, I'm going to teleport over to India. We're going to go deal with the cure here next. The Templar are going to get harder and harder to deal with, but I can prevent this at least. We can set up a new base in Africa. Uh, and in fact, I will do that. Let's teleport up to India. Go here. Whoops, not where I wanted to go. Well, maybe. Nope. Go here. There we go. Okay, next we will go to the very tip of Florida. And try... There we go, now I can get to Peru. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, I do need more DNA, so we're going to go for some tithes. Make that a little bit better. And we're going to try to destroy this. I don't know if I'm... I think I can actually destroy it in time, so we're fine. We actually managed to get some cultist followers in uh, New Zealand for free. Let's heal ourselves up, generate some more DNA. Uh, traveling would be nice. Bunkers, more healing could be good. Tithes, even more DNA. I like that a lot. Let's pick that up next. I don't think we necessarily need the extra combat yet. We're not playing on Mega Brutal, so I actually don't need to be as conservative as I have been thus far. Let's go to India. Transfer down toward Indonesia. We need to get rid of the last of the Templars. Uh, well, I say that, and then what happens? They start sending drones after me. 
Okay, hang on. We're going to set up a compound here in... Oh, I can't afford it. Okay, I really don't want to risk losing this. Can I somehow get enough DNA quickly to set up a compound before... Yep, we can. Okay, perfect. Set up a compound so I can teleport back. Teleport up to Poland. Destroy the drone. Teleport down to Australia. Go to New Zealand. There we go. Good compound placement is crucial, man. Now, I have to be very careful that I don't die, because this is going to be a little tricky. Okay, we're getting close to death. I need to teleport up here. Let us heal. And then go back to New Zealand. And destroy. Should be enough health. Measles outbreak in Spain. Fun. Good enough? Do we get it? Yes. All right. Templar forces have been eradicated. Now we just have to worry about the cure. Let's heal ourselves up a little bit and focus on finally upgrading my cult. Good lord. It's hard to do all this while microwing, you know? Compound airports, plane transmission, water transmission with a private navy? Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, let's go for synchronism and get some mutation going. Dharmic integration, rural and urban, sounds good. Animist, hot and cold, sounds very good. Abrahamic, Rich and poor, okay. Baptism, holy water, boost in wet countries. Uh, Freemasons, a small boost in all uh, conditions. Gurus, arid countries. My god, there's so many things I want to get. I want to tailor a really cool... I want to tailor a really cool co uh, cult here, you know? Cognitive dissonance combo. The cult's doctrine has taken beliefs from religions that contradict each other. Your followers are feeling confused about what to believe. Ooh! Nice! Play there! You actually are making me have to think about what uh, religions don't work well together. Okay! I'm willing to bet that things connected to each other would work well. I kind of want to get a boost in all conditions, though. So we'll do that. We'll also grab a private navy. Not that I need naval transmission, really, because I can just go wherever I want. Uh, they're, trying to, they're trying to fight me in New Zealand, which I find adorable. Uh, let's teleport over to... Africa, and start gradually making my way around and spread the disease a bit more aggressively than we have been thus far. Uh, kidnapping will be nice. Um, let's see, community service. Alright, that's good enough as far as some transmissions. We also have charity work and disaster relief. Really make people think that we're amazing. This is hilariously cool. Alright, symptoms. I have to start building up my cult now. Alright, so we already have these. I'm gonna go and said we are gonna form a commune. We are agrarian. And, um, uh, eugenics is a thing? Okay, communalism, mandatory smiles. Yes, everyone has to have mandatory smiles in my agrarian commune and live peaceful lives. Mediumship, no. Uh, oh yeah, drugs, of course, absolutely. Everyone has to have drugs. Communalism symptom mutated whether I like it or not, but that's actually perfect. Uh, I don't need a power struggle right now. Polygamy? Yes. We have polygamy now. Hooray! <laughs> Sexual revolution symptom combo. The cult has some very unconventional ideas about gender politics, which attracts some people but freaks out most others. Severity boost and a small recruitment boost. Yeah, the right type of people are getting real excited. Repentance. Teach that God hates us. Guilt is a virtue, and the only hope for salvation is to not only submit oneself to God, but to make others submit as well. Where was the thing where I can declare myself a divine being? There you go. Messianism. Weapon stockpiles? Maybe. Conspiracy theories? No. Misanthropy? Ashamed to be human? No. Astral plane? A realm of bliss and enlightenment that harbors the souls of the dead? Mediumship? Astrology? No. Mantras? Yes. Repeat the phrases. Praise Provis again and again and life will be better for you. Spells and curses? No. Psychic powers? No. Uniforms? Yep. Uh, bonfires? Big fires. Yes. We'll do that next. Okay, I'm out of DNA. Finally. Jeez. Okay, let's keep traveling around and spread my word. What am I missing? Morocco and Algeria only. Okay. Let's get up here. And then over to Morocco, and every country now has us. I'm going to devour the people of Morocco. I don't know. They have good spices. Power struggle? I don't need that. Let's see. Cannibalism? No. Animal sacrifice? Probably not. Body modification? Everyone will also get a tattoo. Self-mutilation? No. Um, fundamentalism. A handful of parts of modern theology and furiously reject everything else. Yes. Technophobia. No. Uh, okay, I'm kind of getting limited as far as where I can continue to progress. 
Spells and curses, animal sacrifice, self-mutilation, sci-fi. Racism? No, we're we're a multi we're a multi international faith. It makes no sense to do that. Legal team, I don't need that. Um, evangelism, better in urban regions, mass kidnapping, severity and mutation chance. We're gonna go for. I don't know what else I want. Um, ecocentrism, I guess. Maybe we'll go for something sci-fi in a little bit. I'm not sure. Radical appeal combo. The cult ideas overlap with more radical elements of the mainstream religions, attracting those kinds of people to us. Infectivity bonus. Getting a hefty amount of DNA from these things right now. It's working out real well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have empathy and celebrity so that I, when I'm in a nation or a country, it rapidly increases its infectivity, just so I can use that more effectively. Connections, influence, and clout. Uh, motorcades don't need biological warfare, don't need any of that anymore. Cold tolerance, tithes, we'll go for tithes. Um, more... Let's go for a PR agency. Oop, let's transfer over to Algeria. Cannibalism, people start eating each other whether I like it or not. Okay. Human sacrifices, we'll extract the souls of the non-believer in the name of the powers above. This is gonna get, start getting really dark, but we're gonna go for that. Doomsday, declare the arrival of the ultimate end times. All cultists will be in a state of open holy war against the remaining non-believers. Apocalypticism. Apocalypticism. There we go. We're living in the end times. Society's falling up around us. Demon worship. Eldritch powers. Good lord. Do I win by just infecting everybody? Because I hope so. Alright, I think, I think everyone except for Botswana down here has been infected. There we go. The Temple of Bliss can enslave the world. Everyone infected with with percentages, can be made to serve the vampire. Evolve the Shadow Slaves trait. Where's Shadow Slaves? Where do I find it? I want Shadow Slaves. I need to find it first. Is it an ability? Legal team? No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Mm. No, 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 no. Decentralization? No. Is it a symptom? Okay, let's devour the population and get some extra DNA until I can figure this out. Okay, they're really working on that cure, so I kind of have to be careful here. Doomsday? Temple of Bliss conquers the Earth! Victory! With the grace of the powers above, every last non-believer has either been enlightened or exterminated. We have survived the end times. A glorious future awaits. Praise promise. Wow! Okay, it was a long scenario. 730 days, but let's be honest, it's the Shadow Plague. It's always long. Only one star, but that's because I didn't sit around just devouring people and getting a frick ton of DNA for like 800 days before continuing the actual scenario. So there we go. 85% cure progress was a bit of a risk, but we managed to make that work. This is a super good scenario. It's fantastic. The customization, the raw customization is amazing. Uh, I will say it's a little bit difficult to get to some of the inner uh, symptoms just because you have to unlock things that maybe you don't want for your cult, but whatever. Everything is thematically appropriate. You can actually replay this several times. It actually reminds me a little bit of the board game official scenario that Plague Inc. released where you're actually going to want to pick and choose certain themes um, and you can't really afford to get everything. You're just going to have to choose whatever sort of suits your fancy and go with it. Mutation Chance sort of messes that up a little bit, but I'm okay with it. Overall, it's a super solid scenario. That's one of the best I've played in a while. Well freaking done. Guys, go play that and upvote it. Cultists, acolytes, go and do that for me. Because that one deserves to get five stars. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.